Hello and welcome to something different. Today I will be in Thrones of Britannia Total War. And now continuing in the vein of all my Hearts of Iron 4 series. What I'll be doing this time around the block is... We're going to make Wales great again. So, for the challenge that I've given myself today, starting as Gwynedd, the Welsh Kingdom, we will not only unite all of Wales under our rule, but we are going to reclaim the ancestral lands of England, known as uh, that word. I mean, just read the faction information here. The people of Gwynedd have some claim to the title of True Britons, having been driven to the far west by invaders who now call themselves English. So, I will be playing on very hard for this campaign. Let's dive right into it. With Wales united under your rule, the English will fall before us. Our future is in your hands. Well, you heard the man. The English are vulnerable to attack. And under my hand, a united Wales. Well, we're, we're going to accomplish great things. That's what we're going to do. First things first. We are let's get rid of these of silly rebels here. See, this is where I lose my king in the first turn of the game. After he suffers a horrible death by spear to the throat or something. I'm going to employ a simple strategy here. By uh, taking advantage of the fact that they have divided their cavalry. To overwhelm one flank, which would be their generals. Kill him! And then, hopefully my spearmen don't crumble before... Uh, everything else good happens. Wow, the AI is actor actually reacting in a way that makes sense by sending spears to protect the- they're just- they're just gonna continue running away. Never mind. I thought for a second the AI might actually be smart. Halt. I have made a mistake. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Uh, I don't know. Shoot them. Remember when I was joking about my general dying in the first turn? It might actually, <laughs> it might actually happen. Oh god, my spears are breaking. See, they flee before our might. Oh, dang, they're winning. Our men have turned tail and oh, never mind, they're not winning. Cowards. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Okay, now you can retreat. Kill their general. For the love of God. The enemy general is dead! Yay! Wow, that, uh... That was useful. Why did you stop? Damn it! Henry, you can hang back. You're my king. You don't need to be dying this early. And there we go! A bit shaky there. We learned a lot about how to properly uh, hold a line. I think my troops are coming better and better by the day. I don't even know if I need to continue with the rebels. Don't need to fight that one out. I already won the battle. Don't tell me what I need to do. We are allied with Poes. Po Poes? Po 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 Powis. Povis? I don't speak Welsh. While uh, these guys are probably going to get hammered by the English, we should focus on the other Welsh, I would say, Sisalwig. And, I think Sisalwig, if we, let, let's take Sisalwig, 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 Welsh is hard. So apparently my brothers, I'm the oldest brother, my middle brother, one of my middle brothers, he's the king of Sisalwig, Merwin, he's the king of uh, Poes. And my youngest brother, he serves me because he's a bitch. And he's too afraid to go off on his own. So who the... Who are this guy then? Some old bitch there. 
some other guy there. I don't know. It's probably my uncle or something. So, we have an English army from, I think that's Mercia, or Mirka, in this game? Mirsa? Mirka. Mirka. I don't speak Old English. Anyways, they've wandered onto our land. There's a giant dick statue. Anyways, uh, I would say maybe, maybe we should put our invasions of my brother on hold to deal with Mercia? Because they don't like me. They're probably going to kill me. They're probably about to come kill me. Which means that I should be ready for that. Onward to glory! Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, Mercia, as I'm just going to call them for the rest of the series, well, they have uh, attacked me. No, they've attacked my ally, who I could choose to not save. But I will, because, well, he's going to do that. But here's my, here's my thinking, right? They're going to kill Poes, which means I can honorably reclaim their lands without having to betray my brother. I'll be like, yo, bro, I got you. Let me just take your lands back from the English. I'm going to keep them. I'm not going to give them back to you. But at least I look like I'm being the good guy. That's, that's the general, that's the general idea, at least. So I'm already down two settlements, and the English are kind of scary. They got 11 units in that army, compared to my, like, seven or something, eight, nine, I don't know. I don't know who that was. So, yeah, you can see the conundrum that I'm in right now. Uh, don't quite know. I need to defend my farm because I'm like running out of food here, right? But the problem with that is if I defend my farm, I'm not really prepared right now to defend my farm. And they got sex warriors, and you don't want to. You don't want to have to fight the sex warriors. <laughs> oh man. I cracked myself up. There is my third settlement. I'm now trapped on this little island here. But don't worry, you may be thinking, well this guy sucks, why am I watching this guy? There's no way he's gonna make Wales great again. I have a plan. I always have a plan. Don't you worry. My efforts are rewarded. See? My efforts are being rewarded already. So I'm now just having a stare down with the Mercians. Neither one is brave enough to attack the other. With reason, I would be outnumbered if I go attack them, but they would be outnumbered due to my reinforcing city if they were to attack me. But now the Duetians, if that is even how you remotely say their name, they are sailing around to come fight me after having attacked Poes again, who's probably just gonna die within the next, like, three turns or so. And here they come. So, this is the battle that we've all been waiting for. The English versus the Welsh. Round one. We can only pray that I don't fuck it up. The English general, unlike the Welsh general, he's an infantry unit. Be sure to target him with our bows. Right, let's get, let's break their cavalry. Our general is under attack! Alright, cavalry has been dealt with promptly and effectively. Now we shall go threaten their flanks and get a general advance with the infantry. Alrighty, let's pause here for a second so we can properly assign unit orders. Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. I do not have much 
infantry here. I and I'm uh, as I am continuing to just annihilate their king's guard, their royal companions, with bow fire. They are blocking off my own king though, quite nicely with an axe unit, while shooting him with bows. All right, nope. Their king is going in, so that means time to go get him. The enemy general is dead. And this battle is all but won now with their general having probably been trampled or something. Else. He's dead either way. The English army is in full retreat. And the Welsh have won a great victory in defense of our homelands. I feel like that will be one of many battles of the same sort of scenario. Let's kill as many as we can. So I do not want to have to fight 1,200 battles against the Mercians. So the English army is not really a threat there. Let's go reclaim our, our fish. Well, 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 well. Unexpectedly, instead of landing on my home island, the Duetians have attacked me by sea in this minor settlement. And now I will be forced to defend the shores and not get vomited all over by their seasick men. I don't even know exactly where they're going to be starting. Over there, it looks like. Cavalry. So. The I don't know. Let's just, let's just head on over here. Whoa. I forgot the cavalry starts on land. The enemy general is dead. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Well, I've completely wrecked all of their cavalry and killed their general. Stop firing, you idiots. And killed their general in the process. And I think this battle has gotten way easier all of a sudden. We got some uh, derping around in the boats. They're, they're going on a uh, Sunday joyride in the rain, I think, rather than rather than trying to assault the beach. Looks like the AI fight might finally um, learn how to maneuver its ships. So let's go meet them on the beach. We've got it's D Day for these spearmen. As I'm firing arrows all into their ship. They're having not a great time. Everyone's trying to get to my archers. But I'm not gonna have that. Continue our uh, D-Day firing. See, they flee before our might. Other oh, swordsmen there, that would be a bit more dangerous. The fact that their general has already died is so far being quite a bonus to the overall battle, as their troops are quite flimsy already. Without having even done any. Let's get some rear charges in. That'll definitely help the situation. Now they're, uh, these levy axemen. <coughs> there, they're not. They're not enjoying that. The men have been routed. Well, they that's, are leaving the field. that's not. A, oh, that's a spearman. Not, let's not frontally charge with our king. It's another spearman. Javelins. And swordsmen there. I'm losing a lot of troops, actually. This, is, this kind of sucks. <laughs> so pretty much all my infantry has been routed. And I'm now relying on one swords unit and archers and cavalry to kill everyone. Yeah, you're gonna need to run away there, pals, bros, friends. Ooh, that's not good. Come on! 
Leave. Run away. Please. Thank you. This is close. It's close. I don't like how close this is. It should be good. There's only one spear unit left. So I'm just gonna bum rush him with everything I got. There he goes. Man, that was a. Victory is ours. That was intense. I cannot keep fighting so many battles. I'm gonna have to do something here. The scourge of the Saxons. Yeah, you're really scourging a lot of Saxons there, pal, attacking your fellow Welshmen. You dick. I gotta take on units because my troops are just way too de depleted here. Let's go over here and finish off this English army. Kind of just running around. Stab him. He dead. And we'll occupy that. Increase my renown. So, we're off to a start. I wouldn't call it a good start. I wouldn't necessarily call it a bad start either, but it is a start. That should be the end of episode one, I would think, though. I hope you enjoyed this little stroll into the world of Thrones of Britannia. Something different than the normal Hearts of Iron 4. Anyways, no, that, that's it. I got, I got nothing else. See ya!